Today's lesson in atheist propaganda, and just how insidious it can be, comes from the Facebook page Cheeseburger. Remember the I can has cheeseburger cat? Yeah, this guy. Well, he's this page's namesake, and as you might imagine, its ostensible purpose is spreading mirth and merriment. This kind of stuff, only value-added with occasional atheist broadsides. Because really, what's funnier than the notion of a godless, purposeless universe spinning inexorably into heat death? And you'll see this kind of furtive atheist propaganda in all sorts of otherwise lighthearted internet distractions. So let's see this headline that Cheeseburger decided to share with us. Study of the day. Half of Americans under 30 don't believe in God. And here we have the uh, Monty Python image of God, of course, because that mocks God, and that's funny. And uh, also, nerds love Monty Python, and nerds love atheism, and that's who we're trying to pander to here. So let's uh, scroll down. What if God was one of us? Well, he probably wouldn't believe in himself if he was under the age of 30. Boom! That's clever, I guess. According to Pew Research Center's 2014 Religious Landscape Study, only half of adults under the age of 30 say they believe in God, and overall belief in God is dropping rapidly. Well, we're going into 2016 here, so I don't know how a 2014 study could say belief in God is dropping, but anyway, let's continue. A large majority of Americans still believe in God, 89%, wait, something's, if 89% if of Americans believe in God, but only half of those under 30 do, something's not adding up here, so let's, let's continue scrolling. Belief in God by Affiliation, 2014. Do you believe in God or a universal spirit? How certain are you about this belief? And here we have the uh, beliefs sorted by uh, Christian denominations, non-Christian faiths, unaffiliated. Okay, we're scrolling to the bottom here, Pew Research Center. And uh, there's another little note here about how evangelical Protestants have not wavered in their, in their belief in God. And we have another little zinger and, of course, another little meme graphic at the expense of Christians. So uh, I did not see anything about those under 30 not believing in God. I saw belief in God sorted by religious denomination. I did not see anything about belief in God sorted by age. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Now, obviously, the hope is that this headline is going to create a bandwagon effect, so if it seems like there's been this huge movement towards atheism, the more suggestible readers are going to want to jump on board so they don't feel like they've gotten left behind. So let's check out what this link actually says. Now, here's the linked article to Pew Research Center. Americans' faith in God may be eroding. Now, none of these are good numbers, and they're all cause for concern if you ask me, but we have to scroll all the way to the bottom to get to the part about age. And here it is. As younger Americans enter adulthood, they are far less likely to be sure about God's existence than are their elders. While 70% of those ages 65 and older express an absolutely certain belief in God or a universal spirit, only about half of adults under 30 feel the same way, 51%. So obviously we're talking about absolute certainty in God, rather than just belief in God. Let me just say that absolute certainty is a very high bar to clear. I'm not sure I could say I'm absolutely certain God exists, just because I have philosophical problems with the notion of absolute certainty. What I will say is that informed searching doubt is a good thing, and it can actually lead to a stronger faith. Compare this to the Pollyanna Christian, who's never even entertained the possibility they might be wrong, as soon as they encounter an atheist on the internet going, Herp derp invisible sky fairy, herp derp, they're completely blindsided, and who knows, they might become another atheist on the internet going, Invisible sky fairy, herp derp, you know, it's just like being bitten by an atheist zombie or something. Now these new numbers are simply an addendum to the 2014 Pew Religious Landscape study that came out earlier this year. Here we find numbers dealing specifically with atheism among millennials. Unaffiliated make up growing share across generations. Percent of each generation that identifies current religion as atheist, agnostic, or nothing in particular, otherwise known as nuns. Down below we see that 34% of older millennials identify as nuns, and 36% of younger millennials identify as nuns. Now these are atheists, agnostics, and non-denominational theists thrown in together. 
Now, I wasn't able to find specifically how many millennials are atheists, but further down we see this. The new survey finds that the atheist and agnostic share of the nuns has grown to 31%. So if we assume 31% of millennial nuns are atheist or agnostic, that means these two groups together account for 11% of millennials, a far cry from being 50% atheist. In fact, there's reason to think the push towards secularism has already blown over, in a Gallup survey you never heard about because it doesn't fit the media narrative of triumphant atheism, more Americans in 2013 described themselves as somewhat or very religious, and fewer described themselves as non-religious than they did in 2008, the first year they polled the question. Moreover, the Gallup survey has a vastly larger sample size, 175,000 adults versus the Pew Forum's 35,000 adults. So has the secular trend plateaued? Is it continuing? Will it continue for the foreseeable future? I don't know. I don't have the crystal ball that atheists apparently have. What I will say is that if it does continue, it won't be because of good reasons. It will be because of propaganda and prevarications like this. Now let's go back to Cheeseburger and see some of the comments left by rational, evidence-based atheists who took the headline at face value without even bothering to check if it's true. The highest rated comment is a rallying cry. We believe in science, not mythology and superstition. Young atheists unite! Well, of course, we believe in science means jack shit. It's just the kind of meaningless shit that stupid people say because they think it makes them sound smart. Now, I guess she's trying to imply that belief in God is a mythology and a superstition, and of course her comment would carry a whole lot more force if she were actually able to prove that, which she isn't, so instead she just gives us this banal, insipid, question-begging peroration. Who the fuck believes in fairy tales after they get past their IDK tan? We all know Santa, Easter Bunny, and Tooth Fairy don't exist. Why would God exist? Hey, that is some fucking airtight logic, Broheim. I love how he puts God both in lowercase and in quotation marks, just in case we don't get the point. Okay, you're an atheist, we get it. Half of Americans under 30 believe in God? Here we have a very common posture for atheists, which is a feigned incredulity that anyone could believe differently than they do. I can't fathom how anyone can believe in something so blatantly untrue and lacking any evidence, it truly blows my mind. Okay, well, apparently belief in God is both blatantly untrue and lacking any evidence, and apparently Megan Ashley Phillips here is privy to some knowledge that has escaped the greatest minds of Western civilization. And if you go down below, of course, we have the requisite reference to Santa Claus, and of course the requisite misspelling of Santa Claus. It's more surprising that half of Americans under 30 do believe in God. And here, of course, we have more feigned incredulity and more kind of bandwagon thinking and the implication that something happened in the last 30 years that was supposed to make us all disbelieve in God, other, of course, than the aggressive propaganda campaign. So there you have it, a headline that's a bald-faced lie and a whole bunch of very stupid atheists who believe it uncritically because it tells them what they like to think. And then these same atheists take the comment section and turn it into a circle jerk. I know, atheists on the internet participating in a circle jerk? Wonders never cease.